laser beams into the sky. Sounds pretty cool, right? Thanks to a partnership between NOAA and Honeywell, this technology could be a new tool for weather forecasting. Honeywell has developed the High Altitude LiDAR Atmospheric Sensing System, or HALIS for short. This ground-based weather system uses laser pulses to measure wind speed, direction, humidity, and temperature up to 100,000 feet above Earth's surface. How our system works is we stare into the atmosphere. It's almost like staring when you look at the stars at night. The longer you stare, the more information you see. But we can gather information anywhere from five minutes up to a sampling of up to an hour. To forecast weather, initial observations are put into the models and that model output data, it's as only as good as those initial observations. Now those can sometimes be hard to come by, especially in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It's the same reason why hurricane hunters fly into tropical systems. Better observations in the upper levels of the atmosphere mean better forecasts. Right now, the National Weather Service uses balloons, launched twice daily from 122 offices across the country. The balloons cost about $250 each and only showcase a limited profile of the atmosphere. That's where the new technology comes in. The goal is to provide more rapid upper air observations, especially during quickly changing weather patterns. The Weather Service is going to continue to collect uh, the observations that we have today as we approach new technology uh, in a thoughtful way and, and determine exactly how we're going to integrate that to maximize the warnings and forecasts that we provide to the public. The project, still in its initial research phase, has a single sensing station in Sterling, Virginia, used in partnership with the National Weather Service team in Baltimore. So what, what we're going to be looking at is how this particular system and this capability can be integrated into that so that we have the most robust weather observing uh, architecture ob for observations in this country that we can. If the two-year project is successful, expansion of the HALIS system to additional areas of the country will be possible. We're working towards as a network of these systems uh, installed throughout the, you know, the continental U.S. as well as glo globally and run and then turning all this data 24-7. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Dave Holder.